What papers would you like to see, sir? <laughs> what you want to serve don't. right now? Oh, Let's the serve? Step up on them like that. Back up. Back hey, up. I'm, I'm, listen, I got listen. a hearing disability. I'm sorry. Well, then you, you can say that without stepping towards us. Listen, listen, I don't have a hearing disability. The cops are there to run after crimes and secure the internal atmosphere of the country. But what happens when the cop your life is in hands is not a real cop. Here is a case when has happened where. On February 8, 2019, at 1.56 p.m., while traveling on South Pine Street in Cabot, Arkansas, Detective David Dillon from the Lenoke County Sheriff's Office noticed a black Dodge Ram activating green, red, and yellow emergency lights. Here, sir. What does that badge say? It says I'm an arson investigator. Would you like to read it, sir? Okay, so you're, you're, you're not with any law enforcement agency? No. But you're wearing a badge like you are? Well, you ID yourself to the sheriff as an arson investigator. I'm sorry, sir. You ID yourself as an arson investigator, right? Where's that radio go to? It's Adam Radio. It's A Win Radio. Where did you get A Win Radio at? I'm with Adam as well. What Adam? Arkansas Department of Emergency Management. You work for them? I'm a volunteer for them. Yes, sir. Who's the supervisor over that? Do they know you're working, you're wearing that radio while you're working? Your private job serving civil papers? Yes, sir. They know you're using that radio? Yes, sir. They do? Yes, sir. Adam? Yes, sir. We're going to find out all that. Okay. Step out and step to the back here. Sure. You got your camera on. You better make sure it's recording. Okay. Let's step out. You got handcuffs, too? I do. Step right back here. Do you have a weapon on you besides your pocket knife? No, sir. Do you have any firearms in the truck? No, sir. Do you have a canine in there? No, sir. Is that our frequency you're listening to? Yes, sir. What's the phone? What? He may go bond out on this. Contact Adam and see if they know who this guy is. He says he's a volunteer with them. He's got an A1 radio. Where did you get the A1 radio? From Adam. You were telling me that they know that you're doing this? Yes. You're out serving civil papers, using our radio, running lights and sirens. Didn't know he was behind you, did you? You're not law enforcement. You understand that, right? Yes. I don't have blue lights either. You're right. You don't have blue lights, but you're driving crazy down the middle of the road. Okay. That's not an emergency to go serve civil papers. Okay. This is one of this is our guy who serves our cell papers. Would you do that? Okay. They're writing you some tickets and we're gonna go to court and we're, there's other things we're gonna do here. Okay. You got handcuffs in there too. Mm -hmm. What are the handcuffs for? Uh they're from What are they for? They're a theft deterrent. A theft deterrent? Yep. What does theft deterrent mean? Well, if you somebody break into my car. The vehicle proceeded to drive in the center turn lane at speeds around 90 miles per hour, overtaking cars recklessly. A sticker on the truck's rear window read Cochin, working K9, and the front was equipped with a push bumper. Detective Dillon initiated a traffic stop, joined by colleagues, and the subsequent events were documented on the body-worn camera of Jeremy Kirk. What does it do? He's a tracking dog. He's a certified search and rescue dog. So. Adam gave you an A-Win radio? Yes, sir. Who at Adam do you work for? I work for the Racies. For what? Racies. Racies? Yes. Radio emergency, <laughs> radio amateur um, uh, yes. civil emergency service. There we go. Let me see your radio. Hold on. We're going to do this. Let me see that part. You have an ID from Adam? I do. You see it? Sure. I've got it in my phone. 68-683-6700. Yes, sir.
Bunch of dead bodies back there, man. The vehicle exhibited visor lights in red and green, along with several antennas. Detective Dillon approached the driver, identified as Mr. Jeremy Kirk, noting a badge around his neck and a body-worn camera. Mr. Kirk was asked to activate the lights, revealing a dash camera and radar identical to those used in emergency vehicles. Which, which emergency were you running to? What emergency were you running to? I was trying to get to that lady before she left with her children. Where are the papers at? Let me see the papers. What papers would you like to see, sir? <laughs> One you're going to serve don't. right now. Don't oh, the sir? Don't like that. Back up. Back yeah. up. I'm, I'm, listen, I listen. got a hearing disability. I'm sorry. Well, then you, you can say that without stepping towards us. Listen, okay. I don't have a hearing disability. Okay. Now I can talk louder. But okay, I appreciate that. Have. The papers that you're going to serve right now, I can that's them. what I need to see. Yes, sir. With you? I do. I don't need to hold it. <laughs> That's everything I'm serving, sir. No, I told you what you were serving. What I asked for was very clear. What are you serving right now that you were driving like that for? Restraining order. You serving a restraining order, mm -hmm. which is not a. That's and, for a divorce. An order to uh, give up the kids. And there's you're a whole bunch 90 of miles stuff. an hour down a turn lane. School's about to get out. You put everybody's life at risk. And I don't think I was driving 24. 90. I'm sorry, sir. And you got to March 21st. Let me see. Well, that's the court date. Yeah. Well, he's also our civil process service, so you can right. District Court yeah. of Harris County, Texas. Mm -hmm. You said it was from Lono County. I'm authorized through Lono County. No, no, no. That is not what you told me. You told me. You told me when I pulled up to you, you said this is uh, through Lono County. This is a divorce. Yes, sir. It's a resort of a divorce. I'm not sure we're not going to tell his ride and have and uh, hold it as evidence. Not me. You sure got a badge there displayed. Well, let me fix that for you. No, leave it right there. You can leave it right there. You got it on. Right. That handcuff is a theft deterrent. Yeah, and that aspartame's a uh, bite deterrent. 
what process company do you work for? I work for myself, sir. What's the name of your company? Turk O'Yul uh, Process. Who do you work for? What are some of your clients? A tow inventory of the truck uncovered items resembling law enforcement equipment, including handcuffs, an expandable baton, a taser with a warning label, a seat organizer, a flashlight, pepper spray, bear spray, a radio with the dispatch channel, and a portable breath test for blood alcohol content. These are the first papers you're served? Yes, sir. You've never served any other papers? No. Nope. So why are your, why is your handgun license revoked? you have any criminal history? She's got it. I'm not trying to be the police. What are you trying to be then? Why are you running like this? You, no other paper server does that. My right. guy drives a Mark unit. He doesn't drive like that. Okay. He's a full-time certified that. deputy that serves papers. Yeah. And he didn't act like this. Yeah. And you've got this badge on right here. Why are you wearing an arson investigator badge to serve papers? Well, I'm hoping it doesn't that I don't get shot. So you're impersonating officer? No. You're trying to impersonate an officer? No. That's what? You're hoping it doesn't get you shot? You're one hundred. Go ahead. Man. It's not uh, an you got felony charges and you're acting with me. Does Adam know that? Nope. They will. Oh, hey, who are you talking to? Man. We're taking it and we're going to send it back to them. Why are you taking my truck? We're towing it and we're going to inventory it. Okay. Because you got a handcuffs, you got a badge, you got a body camera, you, you resemble law enforcement, you run the lights and sirens down the middle of the road. You're telling me that the reason you have handcuffs is to theft turn, which doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. uh, you got felony charges on you, and you got a badge. And, um, and I know what it says when I get close, and I know what you're saying. Uh, you're saying you're an arson investigator. Mm -hmm. Nobody in this state or this country is going to use you as an arson investigator because you're a felon. Okay? This, to me, looks like you're impersonating an officer. You're running down the middle of the road at over 90 miles an hour with lights going. It says, caution, working dog. You're saying you're a civil process server. Mm -hmm. um, you're, you're, you're telling us that you were trying to get here to because this says take kids and stuff. Mm -hmm. This doesn't say take kids. This no. says it's an emergency order. Okay. So the reason we're telling you, you also about it. Why do you have a radar in there? Uh, it says I enjoy playing with it. You're playing with it. Yeah, I enjoy just watching. Mr. Kirk dressed similarly to the sheriff's office uniform, claimed to be a civil process server heading to serve papers at the high school. However, it was discovered that he had a conviction for aggravated assault in 2008, prohibiting him from serving civil process papers in Arkansas. Mr. Kirk falsely claimed to work for ADEM, but it was revealed he was only an amateur radio operator. ADEM requested the seizure of the radio and identification card. Run around with them. The only thing I, you don't have is a, is, a, is a gun. What's in the back of your truck here? What are those for? Are you a CPO? Where'd they come from? Who owns those? I do. Where'd they come from? Uh, the CPR store. Are you a CPR instructor? Mm -hmm. You got your card? Who do you uh, instruct for? Somewhere. American Heart. What's in, the box? What's in the box there? Uh, I don't think anything is. I may have a jump box in there. What's the last class you taught? Where was it at? 
It was yesterday, and it was in Pine Bluff. Who did you teach it for? UAPB. They know you're a felon? Nope. What's the combination for this? I don't know. Okay, fair enough. Get a search warrant for anything and everything that's not locked. If he doesn't well, cooperate. Our privacy policy, our, well, it's not locked. I was going to say, our policy says I can enter. I, we may need to get a search warrant for his house. You can be a felon in the notary? No. You can't be bonded and be a felon. Did they know that you're... When did that? When did you this get issued? That was issued... They, they expired in 2027, so it's recent. So you lied on some paperwork there to get that. It asked if you've been convicted of crimes. Oh. You didn't lie on it? Nope. You put on there you're a felon? Nope. Have you been pardoned? Nope. Back 346? Nope. Did you mark on your application when you did that? Not mark what? On your notary. Yeah. Yeah, no, I What are the, the handcuffs for? I said that's the turn. What about the ones in the back and the pepper spray? The ones in the, the back? Um, well, the pepper spray is for, for the dog. for your notary. Mm -hmm. You filled out the questionnaire, right? Mm -hmm. What all questions do you remember being on there? Because we're going to pull that as well. Okay. <laughs> the vehicle was towed for further investigation, and Mr. Kirk was transported to the Lenoke County Detention. Following his arrest, the Lenoke County Sheriff's Office received information from law enforcement agencies and citizens, indicating Kirk's impersonation of a law enforcement officer. We don't have to act like it. You're a convicted felon. We don't get along. And you run lights. And I, I bet you Adam doesn't know you're a convicted felon part of their organization. And we're going to check with the driver patrol about getting the search and rescue tags and uh, what it requires to get those. Uh, I got a couple of pictures in here. An amateur radio, uh, you're carrying an 8 one radio listening at our frequency. Yeah, I'm just going to throw this back in the... Uh, yeah, go ahead. Why were you listening to our frequency? I don't know. So whenever you, uh, where, where were you headed to meet this lady? In school. What school? You keep saying school. What school? The high school. The high school. What's her name? I don't know. You have to look at the paper. Who, who told you she was over there? Her, the, her ex-husband. What school were you going to? The high school. You said the high school. Well, uh, and then you paused. I'm what? a trained investigator, okay? Uh -huh. I'm trained in interviewing techniques. Uh -huh. Okay. You're lying. What school are you going to? The high school. They just dare put an evidence too. The public was urged to report encounters with Kirk posing as a police officer, resulting in numerous emails from both the public and law enforcement, including a letter from the DEA. We want his cameras. Is it on? It is on. Recording? Yep. Awesome. Yeah. Spencer, pull my ride into that driveway. When did you, did you, were you recording that you were driving down the road at 90 mile an hour? No, just when you